Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenore, Makeup by Leo here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning and continuing, continuing to support my channel. I truly appreciate you guys. Now for today's video, you guys can tell from the title of the video, this is the first impressions on a lot of these beauty products that I picked up. Um, definitely from different stores and stuff, but <clears throat> you can look them up online or shop at your local Beauty Plus or wherever they carry these products i will list them down below liquid foundation this says it's oil free natural finish all day wear i'm gonna try this out for the first time this is by rk kiss and girl i've been wanting to try this foundation for a hot minute i just been like super busy this is what the bottle looks like it's a squeeze squeeze tube so we're gonna go ahead and try this out i don't have any primer on i'm just gonna go in with the fourth ray what is this oat milk i'm gonna apply this to the face make sure you shake it up before you apply it i just want a little bit more moisture to my skin um i just plugged in my mic right now <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this foundation on the face my skin is pretty hydrated oh somebody just messaged me on snap okay 
so I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand we're gonna take a look at the color and the consistency really quickly this is a first impression so girl I'm gonna give you the tea the color looks like a pretty good match to my skin I think it might be a slightly darker but that's okay we'll use concealer to lighten up the skin uh, oh no I think it's gonna be a really good match actually but I don't know let's not push our look here so I'm kind of glad that this is oil free because it's been extra oily now that this the heat has kicked in here like we're in summer and girl this texas heat is no joke so my skin's uh, been oilier than usual so in the winter time it's a bit more drier around the perimeter of my face i get like dry patches but lately it's been oily because of the weather change and i mean i'm okay with that because i feel like it just keeps your skin more more youthful so not a big deal this is one layer it didn't really cover up my blemish here um i think that it's more of this is more of a medium coverage like a light to medium coverage foundation especially with the sponge a sponge is gonna shear it out i'd say um you can try it out with the brush but for me um i'm a lover of sponges so if i try it out with the brush in the future i will let you know as long as there's some kind of coverage and it makes my skin look good it's not a big deal so yes queen it actually looks like a satin finish it's a really really pretty finish i want to say i paid like 4.99 for this at the beauty plus store so girl if you have a beauty plus around you i definitely recommend that you get yourself in there and check out the beauty products they have they have some really good stuff for a really great price and if you can't get like it from a beauty plus definitely check out their websites they do still sell their products for a pretty good price check out ruby kisses on their foundation so far i like the way this looks and feels on my skin it feels lightweight it does not feel like i have foundation on i am going to be going in with the kiss professional concealer this is a new concealer it's a full cover concealer so um yeah girl i did use this for the base of my shadows um i do like the consistency of this concealer so far like it hasn't given me no issues as far as like with covering up as you can see right here let me zoom you in so you can see girl okay so you can see oh come on you can see pretty well how it covers i think it covers really really nicely if you guys caught my last video um i was sick last the last video i did on the jaclyn cosmetics palette um so if my voice sounds different that's because i was sick i'm still like a little bit congested but not as bad as last week so i am better i've just been like tired lately i don't know what is the deal but girl it's okay we're in a new week and yeah i like this concealer look at how good it looks why does my camera keep doing that i think it looks so good concealer for me is definitely full coverage i feel like it hides my imperfections it brightens and i'm obsessed so far okay i've never 
tried this Morphe translucent setting powder so this is the container I do have the mini size come on okay so we're gonna try this out for underneath the eyes I'm gonna go in with like a densely packed brush just to pack it underneath the eyes let me make sure I'm not creasing or anything before we try this out so I haven't used this before let me know if you guys have tried the morphe translucent setting powder this is like new to me so let me know how you guys like it if you guys have tried it okay so it does have a like a yellow tint to it I'm trying not to get too close because the camera's acting crazy right now. But, um, so far it looks good. It does have a yellow tint to it. So if you're into, like, yellow powders for underneath the eyes, I think maybe you'd like this. I don't know. I'd have to wear it and let you guys know how I feel about it. For the rest of the face, I am going to use this new Wet n Wild what is this clarifying finishing powder in light medium so these are new and girl we're gonna try it out I'm just gonna go in with a flat top brush this one's from LA colors and we're gonna test this powder out It actually did a really good job at mattifying the skin. Super nice. Damn, you know what I should have did? Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I totally forgot I was going to try these out for the first time with you guys. I have never tried these from Wet n Wild. They're the cream contour and cream blush. Damn. I really wanted to try this out. And I also wanted to try this primer out with you guys. But I have used this twice already, so this wouldn't be a first impression on this. I'm just going to pop on some blush and bronzer that I've used already. And then I'll be... Oh, you know what? Look, I have a blush right here. I forgot I haven't tried this blush yet. Okay, so bronzer. Let's see so i'm just gonna bronze around the skin using this palette just quickly just because i totally forgot that i had those two products i wanted to try and they've been out for so long you guys but i never really paid no mind into doing like cream contouring and highlighting i barely like got into it a few months back and I freaking love it but I do use other products to bronze and contour or whatever and use cream blush so for me um, I am new to the game when it comes to that but I can tell you right now like I freaking love it like it's so good but I do want to try these cream products from wet and wild just because i feel like if they're affordable and they work good girl they will be staples in my products so in my everyday makeup or whatever so yes girl now we're gonna go in with this blush this is from the brand amoras usa and I just love the freaking packaging on this. Look at how pretty that is. Let me grab a blush brush. Okay, so, so far this skin is looking really nice. No issue so far except for the fact that you can see, like, I have, like, hyperpigmentation right here. But I've had this for such a long time. It's not, like, a pimple or anything like that. It's, like, underneath my skin almost. Like, I don't know how to explain it. 
and then this is of course a blemish that I just recently got over like two old like blemishes so girl I don't know what's going on with my skin right here but lately my skin's been really really good so I think I just jinxed myself the last time when I was telling you guys that my skin was doing really really well so this is a super bright pink blush Ooh, that's pretty I like it mmm that's cute girl I think I'm gonna I don't know if you guys saw the one the video where I was talking about beauty creations girl their stuff so good their blush I freaking love it but this is also something I think I'm gonna be loving and I'm gonna be ro rotating I'm gonna be rotating with the with that blush because girl this is pretty I like it it's so like like a girly pink like I don't know I like it okay and then highlight I don't have highlight I have a highlighter so we'll just go in with the with the Yvette XO one and then I'm just gonna use my sponge to apply this because this does have um, glitter in it so if you're not into like metallic -y kind of formula like or shimmer like a shimmer formula then you won't like this but pressed into the skin it looks amazing like with the wet sponge I feel like it looks a lot better than when you apply it with the actual brush so for me I recommend if you use this highlight just use it with a sponge I feel like it melts into the skin a lot better it's just so pretty yep mm -hmm, girl okay and then this will be a first impression on the lips because I've never used these before or at least I don't think I have um, this is the LA colors auto lip liner in bear with me so I'm gonna be using this to line my lips and then the LA colors nude glam lipstick and this one's in pinky swear so girl little ASMR moment girl let's try it out oh and you know what I did do um not like a it is a first impressions because it's my first time trying it out but this is the beauty creations great lip balm and this one's in pink lady and this it's good I like it it feels really nice on the the lips super hydrating on the lips and just comfortable it's not like one of those like lip balms it's like super thick and heavy and this one's nice so just you know wanted to share that with you guys because since we're doing a first impressions on all this stuff I like this color, but I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. It's not bad for a dollar. I got these at Dollar Tree. Not bad, girl. Not bad. Let's see the color. Let me swatch it for you guys. The color. Ooh, that's super, super pale. It's a very pretty pale pink. Mm. I don't know that this color goes with me I think maybe with like a deeper liner I think it would look really nice I'm gonna go over it with the gloss just to give it like some kind of like shine to the lips girl with this Ruby Kisses butter gloss this is in the shade nude so this, that way it'll give it like a little bit more color and I won't look super super washed out. I mean it, I don't think it's going to make like a huge difference but maybe give me a little something you know. 
Hmm. That's cute. Let's finish the lower lash line, girl. I'm gonna go in with, I guess, some yellow. Alright, you guys, so this is the final look. I really, really do love the whole aesthetic of this look. I feel like it's very, like, summery, very like electric vibes tropical vibes like the palette girl this is the tropical hashtag tropical palette i'm i'm digging this look i think it looks really really pretty very summery very just tropical with like a little pop of a nude pinky nude lip girl like yes give it to me i am ready for summer girl <laughs> I do like it. it. I think it turned out really, really nicely. Um, I have tried this liner before. I've never tried this one before. So this one is a first impression. Um, let me give you a rundown, girl. I'm going to give you a rundown real quick on everything. So for the eyeshadow palette, I do like it for the price. I think I paid $3.99 or $2.99 for it. Definitely worth the money. I feel like it's hard to open first off but for the for the price i think that this is a nice eyeshadow palette the quality is not like extremely like great but it's not like super cheap where you can't get a nice look like i feel like the pigmentations there it's definitely buildable so um with all the colors that i did try i really did enjoy it um, if I do use it, okay, like I was saying, I'm sorry, I just had to cough really bad. But like I was saying, the eyeshadow palette, I do like it for the price. I feel like it's a good price. And you get a variety of shades, very summer vibes. So I'm super glad that I had the chance to try this eyeshadow palette out with you guys. Um... Moving into the concealer and the foundation. I like the foundation. I think that it's nice. Uh, first off, first impressions, girl, like this is a nice lightweight foundation. Me maybe light to medium coverage. This is not going to give you full coverage. This is more of like a skin-like kind of foundation. Concealer, full coverage. Love it. I think in combination, it looks really, really well with... It goes really well with the the foundation the setting powder so far i like it i feel like it gave me a little bit more coverage so i like it and it does mattify your skin really nicely so i do like that um the morphe translucent powder if you're into like yellow brightening powders for underneath the eyes you might like this i don't know how i feel about it i'll let you guys know in a future video but so far my so far my under eyes look really really well they look really nice they don't look um crepey or anything so far i'll let you know in a future video if <clears throat> i continue to use it and if i liked it or not the eyeliners i love these well, I love the color. I just w wish they were a little bit more creamier. I feel like they're a little bit more on the drier side. So they kind of do skip if you have like little fine lines. The Laura Geller Lash Boss uh, Mascara. This was my first time trying it and I do like it. I think that this is going to be um, something that I continue to use because I've been using the e.l.f. <clears throat> big mood and this is too like clumpy it like it's not good i don't i don't know like when i first bought it it was good and now that i've been using it lately it just like it's not working out for me so i i'm not crazy about that so i think that this lash boss mascara is gonna be a good one um to use <clears throat> in my everyday makeup the lip liner and the lipstick i think these are a steal for a dollar i feel like yes you got to build them up build them up but 
they work really really well for the price so i like those this is not a first impression i have used this before on one of my older videos and i use it like every few days or so <clears throat> just to pop something on the lips i keep it in my purse this is nice i love this lip balm these are good from beauty creations i do like this i used it in the beginning of my video i didn't even show you guys where I, I put it on but i do like this this is nice last but not least we have this blush from amoras this is the flush blush i feel like it does give you a flush of blush on your cheeks it's really nice it's pretty it's airy like i just like it um i'm gonna continue to use this um <clears throat> i'll let you guys know in a future video if I prefer that one or if I prefer the Beauty Creations one. But so far, I like the way it looks on my skin. It looks really, really pretty. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm just... I, I love the way the whole look turned out. I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, very summery. But yes, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will be seeing you guys in my future videos.